the geospatial data framework. In this project, we create software modules that we call data connectors, data processors, essentially encapsulating these complex processes that researchers use to access data remotely, to transform data into a format that they can use. The geospatial data framework is very important in one particular aspect, is to help make data-driven science to be findable, accessible, interoperable, reusable. So the FAIR principle, that's what we're aiming for to automate the data preparation process and to associate data with information about the data, which we call metadata, and to help researchers publish their work in a way that's more easily accessible and also be reusable by researchers elsewhere. My area of expertise in surface water hydrology, and as a part of that, I am focused on simulating floods. So in order to simulate floods, you need to have information about rainfall, you need to know how the land use is, you need to know what kind of soil you have. So in order to get this information, you have to get it from different agencies and the data come in different format. As a part of geospatial data framework, we are creating connectors and processors. So what these connectors will do is they will connect the agencies and their data to our model. So that way it makes our job easier to get the data, process it, and then move that data through processors so we can do simulations and simulate these natural processes that lead to flooding. Since processing and accessing and using this data is tedious, we are training our next generation of researchers, which are our student, on how to use geospatial data framework for doing hydrologic science, for converting rainfall into flood inundation and any other water-related issues. The geospatial data framework is of very big importance for our sensor development. For many of our imaging sensors, we output high-quality images. The images, no matter how beautiful they look, it doesn't make sense to breeders and farmers. They need to see the data. They need to get the answer, get the results. So that is why we need the data infrastructure, the data framework to support the sensor functions. So after we collect the images, we use the data framework to assemble all the information, process through the information, and we provide answers like how high is the leaf moisture, how stressed are the plants, do we expect a high or medium or low yield by the end of the summer? My area of focus on agricultural sustainability is looking at long-run projections on how much food we need to produce, what's going to be the price of that food, and also how much land do we need to hit that production target. The project helps me in my work in terms of global agricultural sustainability, understanding how price would change, by reducing the cost in terms of the data processing that we need to do. The project allows us to develop these database connectors and processors so that I could easily access the latest data on agricultural production and do my research on the most recent published data on food production, land use, and prices. The geospatial data framework is uh, a huge benefit for us because it allows us to bring together a large number of data sources into a single platform that's then easily accessible from a large number of people. We work a lot with sensors that are both measuring air quality, terrestrial attributes, as well as water quality. Some of these sensors can be attached to real-time telemetry, others can't. Uh, using the geospatial data framework, we're able to bring both sets of data streams together into one package that can then be really easily accessed by either students or researchers who are doing really advanced research and need to have direct ingestion of the data. They can now do that with the geospatial data framework. Sustainability is extremely important in agriculture and for all of us around the world. And new technologies such as this are really helping us move forward in plant production and plant productivity. Going forward, the geospatial data framework project will produce an open source set of tools and provide a lighter weight software package for people to install and also use it in a broader set of scientific domains.